Imagine your own backyard paradise. A forest where you're surrounded and enclosed by beauty, wildlife, birdsong, the rustling of leaves, the hum of bees. And all around you, from the ground to the sky, delicious fruits hang from the trees. The aroma of medicinal herbs fill the air, and your favorite vegetable plants rustle in the understory. Perhaps there's the sound of running water, a hammock to relax in, a picnic table for friends, a weeping mulberry where children can explore while they pick nutrient-dense fruit. This is a forest garden, the ultimate expression of ecological gardening, a place where food, fuel, craft materials and medicines are grown alongside native plants and the highest quality wildlife habitat. Since our food system is the number one cause of climate change and fossil fuel use, as well as a driver of injustice and unethical treatment of animals, many people are now looking to these beautiful landscapes as a way to take meaningful, positive action towards a better world. And since we use more fuel, water, and chemicals on lawns than we do on food agriculture in the United States, transforming our yards to food forests strikes two problems with the same stone. It is probably the easiest and lowest maintenance kind of food garden or home landscape you can have. At Lily House, we maintain nearly an acre of forest garden on just a few hours of work per week. And for that work, we get back a variety of different kinds of fruits, from unusual delights like Asian pears and pawpaws, to familiar favorites like apples and apricots. And there are dozens of different vegetables, cultivated mushrooms, a diverse salad every day of the growing season, herbs for teas, material for handmade gifts and crafts. And one prime benefit of a forest garden is that, with good planning, they can be designed to thrive in different modes, quickly moving from low maintenance to high productivity. So if we wanted to, we could put in more time and energy and get an even bigger yield as a reward. And forest gardening is also a great cultural institution, a traditional prehistoric kind of garden that is still valued around the world for its functionality and beauty. In many cultures, such as in Nepal, a family's wealth is judged in part by the bounty and beauty of their forest garden. Even in Europe, the traditions and cuisine around food forest systems are often associated with the good life. Hi, I'm Kim Willis of Lily House. The best way to create a forest garden is to plan, design, and grow one yourself. This allows you to learn the plants and techniques and evolve and grow along with your garden. If you're up for transforming your landscape into an edible oasis, we hope you'll check out our introductory forest gardening class online, where you can learn about forest gardening by actually creating one of your own. We'll walk you through the entire process of planning, design, and plant selection. We'll even help you find the best deals on all of your plants by giving you direct links to all of our top recommended nurseries for each plant to save you time, money, and trouble of shopping. And I'm Mike Hogue. We'll learn the basics of forest gardening, look at its history, explore traditional and modern examples of successful, beautiful forest gardens, understand the common mistakes that make for unhappy forest gardeners and learn how to address those problems so we're truly confident and successful. You'll learn about the architecture and structure of a successful forest garden and go through the process we use to install forest gardens, step by step from site analysis through design, planning paths, prepping the site, and finding an approach to implementation that works best for you. Each lesson will include videos, materials, and real-world examples and models that you can emulate. In the next video, we'll get started by learning a little about the history and basics of forest gardening. Stay tuned.